right, we can hardly wait. You've had a lot of success with the birds this fall, and it continues, huh? I got to tell you, it is, this is one of those once every 10 years kind of thing. Wow. When the birds come through, so you don't have a, you, there's no decision to make. You have to go. Right. Call is that what you tell your wife? That's exactly yeah. what I tell her. Okay. I have no choice. Not that I want to, honey, but I have, have to. to. Yeah. This has been a very good year for waterfallers in western Minnesota this fall. Rainy fall and mild enough temperatures has kept water and food abundant for the birds. When I went out to the Lack of Parl area this week, I had a specific goal. Make a couple holiday wishes come true. Our day starts with a walk for pheasants, but it is cold, about 30 degrees. Not a problem. What is, is the wind blowing around 25 miles per hour. So we call an outdoor audible because you can't help but notice the migration is on. So you best head to the field. The guides will set out over 300 decoys in a pick cornfield near Laquaparl's tradition rich waterfowl haven. The strategy adjusted to the wind. To get these birds in as tight as we possibly can, we choke these decoys in real, real tight to pull those birds in as close as possible. If the wind were half the speed it is now, we'd have everything spaced way out. I'm also joined by seasoned waterfowler Mike Getch. He understands this fall is among the best in recent years. As we sit, we watch flocks of mallards, all looking at our decoys. For some, a final destination. And this is what brings us out. The way the mallards bombed, I gotta say they, you know, they, when they commit, they commit hard. It was fun. It's fun, isn't it? It's a good time. You can't help but notice the Canadian honker in this county, and on this day, that's what drives me. My goal is simple. Provide a holiday goose for both Liz and Molly. It is a challenge I'm up to, and I will brave the elements because they are colleagues, and I believe in helping the people you work with. It's all part of what motivates hunters into the conditions where a cold succumbs to memories, to picture-perfect settings. But back to my premise. There are two geese coming into our decoys, and I remember the mission. Two birds for two colleagues. All right, I'll go to Liz's, I guess, for the holiday season. And Molly, don't worry, I'll be at your house. It all worked out well, didn't it? Except for us. Halloween horror I love show that last line. Except for us, I yeah. love that last line by the goose. You really do. Yeah. So I wanted two geese for you two. That's. But that's so I got really two nice. geese. Isn't that nice? And a big thank you to Max Out Guys for getting me on those birds. Yeah. I hope the kids are asleep. Otherwise, just find a way to nightmares. say thank you. I actually may have nightmares after that. Yeah. You're yeah. a good colleague. Goose for you, baby. Man, I think yeah. you guys all I'll the time. It. I'll take out it. Out in the field. <laughs> you know, this is what. So many, I think, don't think of their colleagues when they're out and about and just freak out. You do. We had way too much time at the end of the show, guys. Yeah. We appreciate your thoughtfulness, Maxie. Yeah. You guys have to pluck them. Yeah. <laughs> We've got that down by now. Have a great night.